This right here is Team G's newest release into their electric board lineup, the Team G H20 Mini. The H20 Mini is the successor to the original H20, but with a smaller deck and a few minor changes. If you're looking for a small-ish e-skate to cruise around on, then here's your board. But there are a few things to mention. First of all, the specs. The board can reach 24 miles an hour and go up to 18 miles on a single charge, which is impressive for such a small board. The small deck packs a huge 7.5 amp hour battery, while still only weighing in at about 7.5 kilograms, which is 0.5 kilograms more than the boosted Mini S. The range has consistently been amazing and the range has never once been an issue. Alongside the battery, it houses the Hobbywing ESC, and from my short time with the board so far, I have zero complaints with it. Along with the new controller, the ESC provides smooth and predictable acceleration, and braking, which is something that the H20 predecessors didn't have as they all use Lingi ESC. Coming in at 80cm long, the board is not necessarily small, but it is smaller than most other long boards, which are about a metre. The 20cm reduction in length compared to the other boards doesn't change your stance whilst on the board, but the smaller wheelbase forces your feet above the trucks, causing you to feel more vibrations from the road. The stiff deck, coupled with 80mm sleeve hubs, is great for smooth bike paths, but riding on any sort of rough roads is pretty unrideable. Not only this, but since the board uses proprietary hub motors, there are no larger size sleeves you can use. If you're looking to commute on roads, then the H20 Mini isn't for you. In terms of unique features, the H20 Mini uses a lipped rubber gasket to line their battery in ESC, which provides more waterproofing than competitors. Whilst most manufacturers use some sort of variety of plastic, Team G has stuck with their metal enclosures from the H20 and so I've not had to worry about any cracking, but it is worth mentioning that since it is metal, they do show scratches more. The H20 Mini uses custom Team G trucks. So far, they seem pretty stable. When I first got the board, the bushings were super stiff and the carving was essentially non-existent. Even after loosening the front and back bushings, I'd highly recommend changing them out for some softer ones. A huge advantage of mini boards, besides their portability, is their kicktail. This has made it super easy to pick up and drop down without bending over or slamming it into the floor, and it's definitely something I miss on the longer boards. So who's it for? Well, I reckon the Team G is perfect for anyone looking to cruise around on paths or just short trips to and from places. But if you're looking for a road friendly board, look elsewhere. Anyway, this has been my personal experience with the board. If any of you have tried it out or have any recommendations for others, just make sure to comment them below.